Thank you so much for joining me once again on another mukbang. I apologize for my green screen blending in with the lettuce. However, please, please, please subscribe. That means the world to me. Thumbs up and share this video with a friend. Love you guys. everyone welcome 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 come on in thank you so much for joining me once again on another mukbang peace and love and happiness to you family and today we are having hmm, a version of fish and chips but fish and chips sandwich so the fish is in a sandwich form and some chips some french fries Bow our heads. Thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you, Lord, for this food we're about to eat. Bless the hands that have prepared it. May nourish our bodies. Thank you so much for providing. Bless those that are watching. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. And... Yeah, thumbnail time. While I'm at it. Oh, no, I already got it. Alrighty. So, I got some french fries here. And I have a recipe that's going to be attached to this video. Um, look for the link. Should be above on this side. Should be. But look for the link for that recipe. And so we'll talk about this. This is tilapia on uh, lettuce, iceberg lettuce. I shaved the cucumber to get some shaved cucumber strands there. Got a piece of tomato and... Um, a homemade sauce. Now the way I made this sauce, as you tell in the recipe video, is with pesto. And you don't have to use pesto. I'm just a big pesto sauce fan. Mm -hmm. And um, and then I put a little bit of that sandwich oil. If you don't have that, you can use a little olive oil and you can just skip the whole entire process. A very easy uh, fresh, fresh fish. Like if you're making a fresh fish sandwich or a fresh fish tasting um, go to it could be your mayonnaise and your pesto and you're done and a little bit of seasoning a little bit of pepper and you're done done boom done so you don't have to do all that I did for to make to accomplish the sauce this sandwich is on a um, Italian bread you can make it on whatever bread you want mm. mm-hmm Mm-hmm. 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 Beverage time. I like to, um, what you like to do, girl? What you like to do? As you lost your tent, turn the pot. It came back. They say when you swallow, you can lose your train of thought. But I don't know how far true that is because I think when you subconsciously think about swallowing, then you think you might forget something and then you forget it. Whatever, whatever, whatever. But as you can tell in the recipe video, my tilapia is shallow fried, supposed to be shallow fried, just a little bit more oil in the pan than I needed. But in um, Japanese breadcrumbs and sparkling water, and you can tell in the recipe video, I used a little bit of seasoning in the Japanese breadcrumbs because they did not have any seasoning at all. So that's also optional. If you buy seasoned breadcrumbs or seasoned Japanese breadcrumbs, I'm making my little famous cocktail here. A little bit of this um, stuff. It's still the same little pack. What is this? Wild strawberry. Um, in their great value. What? Plug it. And a little bit of ice and um, sparkling water. Uh, French fries, put those in the oven. So I was saying, oh, I like the breadcrumbs, Japanese breadcrumbs to me. They fry a little bit more crunchier and they just, I don't know, do something to my food sometimes. I don't use them all the time, but I, if, if I have them. If I could do it, I would do it. Mm hmm mm hmm mm 
I could have gone. So that was about four pieces of tilapia that I made today. Um, bought that bag at Aldi's. Something's over here. Bought that bag at Aldi's for about, what was that, three bucks and some change. These are the same french fries you buy at Aldi's. $1.65. Seasoned fries. I like them, like I said before, because you can place them in the oven. You don't have to fry them. Mm-hmm. The Italian bread was two dollars and some change. Boom, done. Mayonnaise was like a dollar, some change. Boom, done. Budget meals? Okay, 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 okay. Yes, ma'am. So how y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of Italian bread left. Probably will be good for um, French toast. Mm -hmm. Stuffed French toast. Mm -hmm. Say no more. So what y'all been up to? What are the accomplishments? What's exciting? Flexions on my cheek. What y'all been up to? What y'all been watching? What's in theaters? What y'all been watching on your TV? What you've been reading? What's new? What's exciting? What's happening? Mm -hmm. That's the shade cucumber. Mm -hmm. I stumbled upon Big Run on Netflix, Big Run. Cause you know, sis trying to do some yoga sometime soon. Mm -hmm. What? Girl, it's a documentary, put it this way, lightly, probably. It's kind of like surviving R. Kelly in the yoga world, allegedly. According to the documentary on Netflix, So it's about this, you follow the life of this, well, you kind of see the life of this guy who's a guru, yogi, and then um, some victims have come forward with allegations. The sad part is when this lady won her case of $7 million, he left the United States and they couldn't do anything about it, I guess. I mean, according to the documentary now on Netflix. No, it's sad. So there were allegations of abuse and women that had been raped. 
I should say R A P E. Hmm? Google? Hmm? YouTube AI might pick up on that? Hmm? I know that a lot of people, in most cases that we've been seeing come out, always wonder why victims come out later. And here's the only thing I always say to people is it's never a place and point to judge when someone should come out with their trauma. Trust and believe you're not talking to somebody that doesn't know what they're saying. Um, in stuff like that that happens when a person has been violated, I feel, I'm not speaking for everybody else, it does something to your psyche. You know, you go through denial and you probably go through years of trying to numb it with whatever it is that you want to numb it with. Um, only to realize that it, some people never get to say what happened. You know, only to realize that, you know, it's choking you. So I always say stay light on the victims. You know, sometimes, and here's the thing I tell people, it's usually people of power, okay, that you, I'm not saying they're the biggest heat predators, but obviously it's the people that you never believe have done the crime. Uh, I'm not saying that people that you would believe don't do the crime as well, so don't misconstrue my words. But I'm just saying before we start castigating everybody or victims, let's just, you know, let's just not say anything. Because I'm not going to sit up here and minimize anyone's experiences. I wasn't there. It's not just because it's my favorite celebrity, favorite whatever case it is. I wasn't there. And I don't think it's fair for anyone to take away anyone's voice and or power whenever they find it. So what if they find it 30 years from the moment? Maybe it took them 30 years to get total healing and restoration. As a woman that has gone through some stuff two times in her life, I could tell you the toll, the trauma, and everything that goes in it. Okay? Well, ain't nobody trying to make this a sad video. I love you guys that much. Stay blessed. Thank you for stopping by. Um, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and share the video with a friend. Go watch Big Ram if you'd like to. I was just interested in the whole thing because I was like, who's this dude in a speedo?